Hey you guys. <sighs> Driving home from work and we're having like the first summer thunderstorm of the year. It's pretty cool. You want to see, I don't know if you'll be able to see any lightning or anything, but that's what it looks like next to where I'm sitting on one side. And then here's what it looks like on the other end. So it's kind of, it's kind of rainy. It was like pouring earlier. Um, and it sounded really cool on the roof where I work. Actually, there, so there's a couple of tiles in the ceiling and we're thinking they're gonna, we're like worried they're gonna fall down because they're like making like a scooped shape like that and it gets worse every time it rains and you can see like the water on the ceiling has stained it and you can tell they're getting wet. <laughs> like they are getting wet and they've been working on the roof. I don't think they found a leak, so yet. I don't know. They're still working on it, but it's pretty hilarious, especially because one of my coworkers tries to like replace them, like the ceiling tiles um, sometimes, and gets them all over himself and like the immediate area, is, which is kind of gross, but anyway. So I was just listening to um, Cindy's podcast about um, Plan Bivalence, um, which is a video that Mika Allen did on YouTube. And I kind of had some thoughts, so I just wanted to record on on this while I'm driving home, just because I'm probably not going to remember it after I get there. So I'm thinking, I really like the idea of like dropping out of the rat race of the planner community, which can be like the whole like what's like Instagrammy trending type of thing, like. Um, on Planner Girl Shatter, they were talking about how, like, the bees, um, sticker kits are trending right now, and there's, like, all kinds of other trends going on. Um, oh, shit. They are... Cops going by. See them? I don't know what they're doing. That's, like, the second cop car I've seen doing that today. Actually, yeah and an ambulance, but it was on the other side of the road, but on the way home, yeah. Well, it's a lot for our area. It's kind of boring up here in a good way, in terms of like crime and stuff, and like car accidents and stuff, you know? Um, but the, I guess specifically the trends I'm talking about are like, when you really like a sticker shop, say, and they come out with a new kit and you feel like, God, I really want that kit. I really want to buy it. But then you realize like, hey, I've got like 96, like 100 stickers at home. I've got like 15 sticker books I, I haven't used up yet. I've got watercolor pens in every single color. I've got this and that. I've got, you know, probably any kind of craft supply you want right now. I don't need to be buying more stickers. I actually do own a sticker maker. Wow, that's, that's real funky right now. That's not doing what I'm trying to get it to do. My hair, when I air dry, it looks all shitty. Which I did today, because I was busy. <sighs> Working moms, you feel me? Man, I couldn't even pee for like two hours today. Because busy. I actually made coffee. I couldn't even start it in the French press until like an hour after I heated up the water and then I couldn't even push the plunger on the French press when it was done until like an hour after the alarm went off telling me it was done like the timer whatever uh, what was I talking about oh yeah so I don't need to buy more stickers I think I need to cancel my subscriptions I had a subscription to a kawaii kit which I liked but didn't love like it had more of like the little character stickers that I like. Um, I guess I wanted it to be more like the monthly kit, so maybe I should have just bought the monthly kit, but I didn't want the exact same designs as I am already using in my Hobonichi because um, <sighs> I'm getting it from the same place. I'm getting it from um, Sweet Kawaii Design. Man, look at that backup right there. traffic in Shoreview, Minnesota.
on the daily. This is what it's like driving home. I literally live like 15 miles from work. Um, it would take me maybe 10 minutes to get there on a weekend. It takes like four, it takes almost an hour to get home on a weekday. All right. And now they're stopped. An hour, can you believe that? It's ridiculous. Oh my god, yeah, it's taking a long time to get home. A long ass time. Anyway, um... So I don't want two copies of the monthly kit, because in my Erin Condren it'll look exactly the same as it looks in my Hobonichi weeks. And the whole point is for them to look different. Oh, that was fucking cool lightning, dude. I hope you saw that. I hope you could see that out the back window. Oh, do you hear that? Oh, it's gonna be a storm, I love it. That's fucking cool. Um, so I don't want the planners to look the same and I'm spending a lot of money on stickers right now. Or I was spending a lot of money. It's like 50 bucks a month for both kits. And they come with like 10 pages of stickers, so it's kind of a good deal, plus shipping is free. And they come like super fast, like Tasia is awesome about getting everything shipped out really fast, which I love, like other places I order stuff from, um, whether it's inserts or stickers, and I've only ordered a couple of inserts, but um, they just take forever. Like one time I ordered from a shop, which is a pretty well-known shop, and it took, I want to say like three or four weeks for them to ship my order. And I only ordered like, I think it was just one kit that I ordered. Granted that kit had like six pages to it, but I was like, are you gonna take a month to give me this? Are you serious right now? I'm like, dude, I, I don't have that kind of patience. So what I'm thinking about is an idea instead that somebody talked to me about in the uh, me and my big ideas planner group on Facebook and they're finding that it's really great to print stickers with an HP printer or like a, a laser printer at home and some just plain label sheets um, and this one particular user excuse me IT term um, this one particular lady I was talking to told me she uses an HP NV 5055, so 5055 is the model she has, and she gets 50 prints a month for $2.99 a month with HP Instant Ink. So basically, like, that's how much they charge you per month, and then they, like, I think they automatically ship you ink when they detect that your printer ink is at a certain level. So your printer, I think it does have to be online for that to work, but I don't know for sure. Maybe they just know like if you're printing 50 times, it should last you X amount of time. But um, it sounds like I could get the printer for like 50 bucks, maybe 40 if it's on a really good sale. Um, this lady got hers for 40 and I got mine, or she told me, sorry, about a deal that they're having this week for like, $49.95 or it was like $59.95 $49.95 for the printer itself um, and I don't know if it comes with a supply of ink or anything like that but you can also get a pretty good supply like a hundred sheets of full sheet labels on Amazon for like I want to say like 17 bucks and honestly I don't see myself printing if I do one kit a week that's probably, I'm pretty minimal with the stickers, especially in a kit because I want to have freedom to add like icon stickers and like box stickers and stuff like that. Um, and I also want a lot of writing room. I don't do like no white space planning. So if I'm going to do a sticker kit a week and I'm just going to do like a mini kit, like one full sheet of stickers, like an eight and a half by 11, like one sheet a week, that's only four sheets of paper a month. Assuming I get it right on it on the first time, and it looks the way I want it to on the first time, or I don't change my mind and want to like do a different kit that I haven't printed off yet, then I'll, it's only four sheets a month or five sheets a month. If I mess up a couple of times, it's maybe six sheets a month or 10 sheets a month. It, I mean, not that much. And um, 
that's really the only thing it would be used for. We don't print anything at home. Like, if I need to print something, I can print it at work. Jason can print it at work. Or we can go to the library and print, like, 10 cents a page for color copies, or like 5 cents a page for, like, black and white. Um, really good quality, actually, because they have a nice printer, so. Um, and so do the work printers. They have nice quality. So it's not like I, you know, it, it's not going to get a lot of work to it. So I feel like either that would be way more pages than I would need, or maybe I could downgrade the plan into something, like, cheaper, like 25 prints a month for, like, such and such money. If I could pay two bucks a month for ink, I am so down for that. That's like, that's half a cup of coffee. Like you can't even buy coffee for that much right now. In Minneapolis, it's like, if you want to go to Starbucks and get like just plain drip coffee, say you want to get like the biggest size at Starbucks, it's going to be like three bucks or like three fifty, like just for plain coffee, like nothing in it. Just plain, like, coffee grounds and water coffee. So, that's kind of what I'm basing my comparison on, is, like, cost of living-wise, it's not that much money. I don't know what the hell is going on right now. Like, I've been sitting still for a long time. Like, a long-ass time. And I'm in about... I'm trying to fucking turn right now. I'm getting irritated because I'm supposed to be picking up my kid in... 14 minutes and it takes me like another 15 minutes from where I'm at to pick him up and if people don't start moving their asses I'm gonna fucking scream like this is ridiculous I don't know what the hell is happening right now where are all these people coming from like honestly good gravy but I might do that because we have a lot of other stuff coming up that we need to pay for like we're trying to get our driveway sealed this year we need to refinish our deck we got to finish doing the backyard um we're gonna start saving money for paying the house next year my kid needs new shoes like his feet are huge right now huge like they're giant feet his feet are bigger than my feet right now so I'm going to have to buy him shoes, and we've got a funeral to go to, so he's got to have something to wear to that, because he grows, like, so fast that it would have made no sense to buy him anything nice to wear, like, just to have around, just to have in case, because this kid goes through sizes like they're smarty candies. Like, you know, one of those necklaces we used to have? in like fifth grade and you wear it around your neck or you, it was like on stretchy elastic bands so you could like put it around your neck and then you'd sit there and like eat off all the candy all day until it was just like the elastic band left that's kind of like what clothing sizes are for him he can go through like a size a week it feels like like honestly I just bought him new jeans three months ago Maybe not even three months ago. Maybe it might have even been like April. I bought him new jeans. And I only bought him like two pairs. Or maybe four pairs. Um, and they're already freaking too small for him. Too short mostly. But they're also getting like snug everywhere else. So it's like, dude, I can't keep the kid in regular clothes. How can I keep him in fancy clothes? And we don't have fancy stuff to go to ever. So this is like a one in a million thing. Which kind of sucks because like... I'm putting out the money for something he's going to wear one time before he grows out of it. And I was hoping I could go to, like, Once Upon a Child and find him something, but I honestly don't think I have time. Like, it's going to be 6 o'clock by the time I get to his school to pick him up. It's going to be another half hour for us to get dinner together and stuff like that. Maybe an hour because I have to feed the dog and cats and stuff. Um, we gotta figure out, like, does he need to bring anything back to school for the last day of school tomorrow and get him ready for whatever they're doing. They're doing, like, field trips and stuff, so we gotta prep for that stuff. We gotta do laundry and dishes and I feel like there's other stuff I need to do. Oh, we gotta move money around. Um, I don't know what else. We got others, but like, even just taking an hour to like play with my dog outside or whatever, which is probably not going to happen tonight and he's going to be pissed because it's raining, but my backyard is torn up right now because dirt. So, um, man, I don't think I'm going to get there. 
in time. Would you look at that traffic? Like, what is that? This never happens. I've been sitting here forever. I don't understand what is... Why? There are never this many people trying to go this direction at this time of day. I... I'm not happy right now. They charge like five bucks a minute if you're past 6 p.m. and it's 5.50 right now. You want to see my really cool um, custom screen on here? Check this out. Jason made this for me. That's not like standard screen. That's custom. So my car is pretty rad. That's my one bragging thing on this car. It's like that's the only bragging thing. Are we going to go or what? Oh my god. Are you serious right now? Oh my god. What is going on? I can't even finish turning the corner. Whatever. Well, since I'm gonna be here for the next Eon or so, I might as well tell you about the dashboards I tested. I got the HP t dashboards that are the like meal planning ones they came out with a little while ago, maybe like spring release, I can't remember. Um, but they were brand new not long ago and I finally got them. I had been going back and forth on it um, forever, but I finally got them today, I tested them out. They are awesome. Um, I got the Expo Ultra Fine Tip Dry Erase Markers. I got a pack of those from Prime Now on Sunday. Um, and I got the dashboards. I'll put in my classic happy planner. That one I use for house stuff, like projects basically around the house or like if there's stuff at home I need to do after work I started laying it all out there um, like errands to run after work and stuff like that because having it in my day-to-day -day planner of like especially in my Hobonichi it's not gonna fit in there that's like the travel one like the one I'm gonna use when I'm out and about but if I need to lay stuff out in more detail or make sure stuff gets done or things happening at certain times at night that I need to be aware of that's probably the one I'm gonna use. My Erin Connor has just become so decorative um, and I feel kind of restricted by it right now, but I also kind of want to use it for like a, a daily kind of journaling thing. Like I've been watching J. Crew plans and I like the way that she takes an icon sticker and then she writes down, like she marks a certain memory with it about that, like what happened that day or like she'll mark like, I went to Starbucks with so-and-so or, and then I did this and then I did that and I kind of like the way that she's been doing that so I'm trying to do that also we'll see how that ends up working out um, I've been not keeping up with it because honestly at night I've been coming home and I've kind of been in a planner funk I've been playing Albion online and I haven't felt like planning it's just de been depressing me I haven't had like anything new for a while I guess or like I don't know like the new Erin Condren's came out and I already posted my feelings about those. And so next year I'm like, you know, I really don't like those. And I know, you know, originally I started using them because I thought, you know, they're spiral bound, all the stuff I put in here, I'll always be able to look back at it and like flip through and it'll be a nice, you know, kind of granular way to remember things, right? But at the same time, forcing myself into a planner I don't want to use doesn't really bode well for me. I mean, the neutral is not neutral to me. And the colorful is pretty, but I, it just has, like, weird lines, different places. Oh, man. Low tire pressure. Dang it. I have one tire that's, like, constantly leaking pressure. And it's super annoying. And it just came on. Which is super fun when it's raining, right? Like, I totally feel like going out and standing next to an air hose right now. That's that's great. Anyway, so I'm thinking about just moving into one of the new A5s that I got. I love, love, love the Webster's Pages one that I got. I almost want to return the Carpe Diem one. I got that on sale when it was like 15 bucks because I was like, you know, it's 15 bucks. For trying an A5 is not a bad deal and if I don't like it I'll just get rid of it like I'll you know I'll just sell it to another planner or something um, 
like put it up on eBay, you know, whatever. I've sold stuff on eBay before and it works awesome, so not a big deal. Um, but when I got the Webster's pages, it came in such a nice package. Like it was all shrink wrapped. There's pictures on my Instagram if you want to see them. Um, but it's like all shrink wrapped and all pretty. And it's the red patent leather that I love and like I want to hug it. And so I think that's the one that's that I'm going to really end up using. I'm kind of afraid to use it though because I don't want to fuck it up. Like scratch it and stuff. And my dog wants my attention so bad like at night that he'll take his paw and just kind of scratch, scratch, scratch at me. Kind of like, hey mom, pet me. Or like, mom, I want to play with you. Sometimes I'll take his paw and just set it here on my face. Like especially when I don't want to wake up in the morning, he's hungry. He's like come on, time to wake up, and he's got scratchy paws, so I don't want him to do that, like, while I'm using my planner, come over and, like, put a paw on it and be like, hey man, let's go play, because scratchy paws, scratchy leather, and I don't want to scratch it, so, oh, I'm scared to use it right now, which sucks, I really want to use it, my dividers came yesterday, and I didn't even open them, because I was like, you know what, whatever, I'm too... I can't decide like what planner to use them in. I bought two freaking sets. I should just put one in each, but like, I don't want to put them in without decorating them. And I didn't want to get into decorating them because even though I have all these cute stickers that I bought from, um, from Hobby Lobby, the stickabilities ones, they're so freaking cute, but I don't want to use them yet because, well, I haven't wanted to use them because I've been so tired. But yesterday I wanted to go to bed all day. So like, I didn't use them. I just decided I'm just going to play Albion tonight and chill and try to make some dinner for us that's good for us. So I made some vegan tacos that were freaking phenomenal. The Morningstar um, chorizo meatless crumbles are so good. They have like black beans in them and they're seasoned and when you cook them, you, you just like microwave them or you can do them on the stove or whatever. but. You just basically heat them up and they make this great sauce and it's so good. And so anyway, I made those and um, I actually got to sit for a little bit while I was eating them. But also, um, Cindy had a live YouTube last night so I wanted to watch that and it was at 7 and I felt kind of rushed into watching it because when I got home I didn't realize like, hey it's after 6 and then when I started watching that it was like, okay Max is being crazy. I had to take him out to play twice last night because of how wound up he was even though Jason was home all day yesterday like hello he sleeps all day when Jason's there and then when I get home he's like mom 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 like he can't leave me alone for five seconds and it's super sweet but at the same time I'm like dude mommy was just at work all day mommy's really tired right now I want to like zone out for a while and watch some tornado hunters or like 600 pound life like have you seen my 600 pound life that's like a really good show to zone out to because I am not 600 pounds stuck in a bed, but if I were, i try to like imagine like would I make the same decisions they're making? I don't know. Also the doctor is hilarious on that show and awesome. And there's a really good subreddit um, all about 600 pound life. So if you watch that show and you like it, join us on the subreddit because we're pretty funny. You'll get a kick out of it. So anyway. Um, yeah, I've just been like coming home like Bleh, lately and it's the week of the funeral and you know I think I have some repressed feelings about that which is stupid but you know whatever it's just how my brain works apparently so I just haven't felt like doing planner stuff like I've been in such a funk I didn't even decorate my hobo this week you know why because I was mad that I got rejected from the jury after I went in there and like bared my soul to all the strangers which fucking blew um, and I talked about that and in the video I uploaded on Friday, like right after I got out of there, but like, I was mad at my planner because I was working on that planner while I was waiting for jury duty to start. Like, I was sitting there, I sat there for like an hour and a half in the morning just putting stickers in that thing, like laying out all the weeks, like, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here's all the dates on there, blah, blah, blah. I have everything structured in there now, but now I don't want to look at it or look at those stickers anymore because I'm like, nope ruined it for me. I don't want to like trigger memories of that day by looking at the stickers. And I know what'll happen and I know I gotta get past it at some point, but not this week. This week is the week of the funeral and I'm not gonna 
like screw myself over emotionally by pushing it. Like I'll just wait until I feel like I'm in a better place and I can deal with it and I'm not PMSing, which is also happening this week. Fun fact. Um, and I'll deal with it then. See, it's six o'clock right now. This sucks. I'm not even there yet. I'm only at County Road J and that means that I still have another like few roads to go. I gotta get through like four more intersections to get to the school. They're gonna start calling pretty soon. I should probably wrap this up because they are, I gotta call them and just let them know I'm like five minutes away. Um, but anyway, when I do get into those A5s, I will um, try to take some video of like flipping through them. Um, I don't have a way to hold my camera right now so that it's top down so you can actually see what I'm doing. If I figure that out, then maybe I will take some video of that. But it's, I mean, it's, I don't know. I'm not inclined to do it one-handed, so. I will post pictures on my Instagram, though. So if you are not following me on Instagram, um, my Instagram name is Elizabethica. I will spell it out for you because it's a ridiculous name. It's, long story, I'll explain later. E L I Z I B I T H I C A. Um, anyway, I gotta go because I gotta call the school. I will talk at you later. Bye!